Hi, welcome to this course of Intro to Fingerstyle Guitar. In this lesson, we're going to go through some basic um, technique foundations for fingerstyle guitar. And we're going to start by talking about how we sit with the guitar. Everyone has their own personal way of uh, sitting with the instrument uh, and feeling comfortable with it. I personally use a footstool because I don't want the guitar to be too low. Uh, I'm a small person and I don't want to have any tension in my left hand or to bend over my guitar like this. Um, so I use a footstool. Uh, you will notice that classical guitar players, for example, use a footstool on the other leg. Um, and they position the guitar in such a way, like something like this, where they can access uh, the high uh, range of the guitar more easily. Um, if you feel comfortable with that position, that's okay. But for the repertoire that we're going to be covering in this course, uh, we don't need to. Um, and yeah, another important thing is like, we need to feel comfortable in the chair or wherever we're sitting. Uh, so I highly, I highly recommend to try different chairs and to feel how, uh, to, to check how you feel with different, sitting in different places. And now let's move on to our left hand. So basically the, the position, uh, the default position of our left hand should be uh, resting the thumb um, uh, behind the fretboard, not over it. And our thumb should be aligned with the middle finger. Uh, I think that's a good uh, default position for our left hand. We have to take into consideration not to bend our left wrist like this because this, this will create tension and when we will play chords it, it won't feel well and also not to take um, the wrist too much uh, like not to keep this straight like this there should be a natural curve of the wrist here uh, for us to play more efficiently and at last, something that I want to explain are the numbers of the left hand finger. So this finger, the index finger, is going to be called one, finger number one. The middle finger is going to be finger number two. The ring finger is going to be finger number three. And then the pinky, number four. So one, two, three, four. Let's move on to our right hand. So the default position for a right hand should be at the beginning of the sound hole, here. Uh, we can play here and we also can play here, of course, um, and that's really useful, uh, but it will change the color of the sound we're making, so we should consider that. And I, I think as a default position, it's good to keep it over the um, at the beginning of the sound hole because it will give us a nice, um, loud uh, and warm tone. Another thing that we have to consider is not to um, put our fingers like this, or left hand like this, in this angle, because then uh, our sound will be like a very, um, very weak, and we are, are not going to be able to control uh, the right hand technique as well. And also not to put it too much like this, because then we will uh, play the strings uh, in such angle that you know, will make our sound less um, rounded. So it's better to have a nice balance between this and this, somehow in the middle of it. At last, I want to demonstrate uh, how we're going to use our right hand um, in the fingerstyle technique, but I'm going to demonstrate this away from the guitar. So I'm going to put my guitar like this. So now I want to focus on how, how our right hand should move uh, in fingerstyle technique, uh, away from the guitar, so that we understand it well. So I'm going to take my hand like this, uh, curve my fingers, and then I'm going to take my thumb and move it back and forth towards my fingers, like this. And as you can see, this motion is linear. I'm not making any circles or anything like that. And I'm also not bending the tip of my thumb like this. I'm just keeping it straight. So this is basically how we're going to use our thumb um, and our right hand. 
And now what we're going to do is we're going to take our fingers and extend them and then bring them back towards our palm of our right hand like this. So basically, here I'm moving the fingers from my knuckles. And that's really important to notice because that's how we want our right hand to move with the guitar while we're um, plucking the strings. From the knuckles. So this is the end of our first lesson. And in the next lesson, we're going to actually start playing the guitar with our thumb.